Hi, everybody. I'm Miss Karen at Adams Memorial Library. Thank you very much for joining me for our September Inquire Within program. So this month we're all about fall fun. So we've got some activities for you that you can, so you and your family can go outside and enjoy fall. We've got um, some art project projects you can do. Here's a leaf garland, or if you can see my stamper here, it's actually part of an apple. So I'll tell you a little bit about how to do apple prints. And there's a lot of other activities from some of your favorite PBS Kids shows, like Eleanor Wonders Why, or Wildcrats. Wildcrats love being outside, or Nature Cat. Nature Cat's all about the outdoors. So there's some activities from those shows and other shows to help put you in a mood for fall fun. The kits we have will be available in the children's room, so you can come into the library and come, come downstairs and get a kit. Or if you don't have time to come in, you can always just call the library and we can reserve the kits for you and you can just pick them up through curbside service and get them that way. And if you're not able to come to the library, you can always email us at kids at adamslib.org and I'd be happy to email you some more information about what's happening this fall or inquire within. Some of the things in the kits would be a nature cat scavenger hunt. And I like this because it's got some things already on here, like maybe you could look for a bird, look for a leaf, um, look for an acorn or a pine cone. But I like that it also has some blank squares where you see something that smells good or something beautiful, and then you can draw it in yourself. So everybody's chart might be a little different. If you go out as a family, everybody might find something different that they think is beautiful, and then you can share it. Ask everybody what they saw. Eleanor wonders why it has a nature bingo. So before you go outside, you can decide a lot of different things that maybe you can see, put it on your bingo card. Everybody could do it a little differently. And you can either just have the fun of going out and walking around and enjoying the fall weather being the prize, or maybe you can actually get something else. Maybe you get the last cookie, whatever makes a good prize to you. This one is about investigating leaves. And it's got a Venn diagram here. So if you found a couple of different leaves, you could put the characteristics of one, the characteristics of the other, right on this side, and in the center here, where the ovals overlap, you can put the things that are different, or this, I'm sorry, the things that are the same. So this part might be different. Maybe the leaves are two different colors. So you can write that together, write that on this, one color on this side, one color on this side, but maybe they're the same size. So you can write that part in the middle. It'll be a chance to observe and, you know, do a little math too another science experiment that you could do. You can figure out balancing. So that's kind of math and science. You would need a hanger and a couple little cups and strings, and that won't be in your kit. But if you can find that at home, when you're going for a walk, you can see what you can find, like maybe little sticks, um, leaves, rocks. You could even put water on one side. The idea is that you will put one cup on each side of the hanger, and then you can see if you can get it to balance. See what things are heavier, make your observations. Maybe you can guess beforehand. You can, you can decide what you think. You can do a hypothesis and decide which you think is gonna be heavier, and then you can test it and find out. So you do science in the fall too. This one is Nature Cat's Fall Color Wheel. And when we think of fall colors, at least when I think of fall colors, I think of orange and gold and rust, maybe not bright colors like in summer, but pretty nature colors. And that's why Nature Cat really likes them. When you're outside, you can see if you see anything that would be red or orange or brown or yellow, and you could draw a picture of it on the color wheel. If you saw some leaves on the ground, you could take them and you could attach them on here, kind of make it into a wreath. So this is another activity for you to kind of observe, see, really look at the colors outside. And also, maybe when you're going out there, you might get a little hungry. So maybe you'll need a snack. 
like apple rings. And I've made these before. This is Daniel Tiger's recipe. And can you see they have little hearts in them because that's what Daniel made them for Valentine's Day. But you can make them any time of the year. So if you have an apple like this, an adult can cut the apple into slices this way. And the thinner the better because you're going to bake them in the oven and the thicker they are, the longer it'll take to bake. It's going to take a long time, but they're going to dry out and turn into dried apple rings. The hearts are on here because that was what you used to take out the seeds and the core. So you could use a heart or if you have a little round um, cookie cutter, you can put that in. Press it onto the slices and take out the middle part. And if there aren't any seeds, you can always bake those parts too. And then you can have tiny little apple apple hearts or apple rings. And here is another recipe that you might enjoy to make fruit leather. These would be easy to take on a hike. There's a recipe from Nature Cat for how to do it. And you really just need some fruit and a little lemon juice. You put it in a blender and you whir it up and you pour it on a a pan that you put, if you have a silk hat mat, you can do that. If you have some uh, foil or parchment paper, you can put that down. You spread out the blended up fruit and then you bake that in the oven for a little while and you're dehydrating it. You're taking out the moisture and then it's going to turn into, that's why they call it leather because it's kind of harder, but it's easier to take with you. It tastes really good. When I made my fruit leather, leather, I used strawberries and my strawberries weren't very sweet. So I thought the lemon juice made it, a, it's a little bit sour and it's okay like that. But if you like it a little sweeter, you can add a little sugar if you think your fruit needs it before you pour it out. And then once it's been in the oven for a few hours and it's all dried out, you can take it and enjoy it when you're out enjoying having your fall fun. The crafts for this month, as I said, were going to be the leaf garland and apple printing. And uh, this is my first time apple printing. And I think I, you know, still have, still practicing a little bit, but it was fun. In the kit to make the leaf garlands, there will be a template with these leaf shapes. And this is how the wild crats like to decorate. They were doing theirs to make jungle vines, but thought we could do fall leaves. So in the kit, there will be some different colors of paper. You can decide what colors you want to use for your leaves. They'll be probably like this, some red and yellow, orange. And also if you wanted to make extra fancy, maybe not found in nature leaves, there'll be a printed paper in too. So you can decide how you want to do it. What color leaves you want to do? You can decorate the leaves. I left these ones plain, but if you want to decorate them, you can do that. Make them look extra fancy. There will also in the kit be some of this brown paper. And if you get packages at home, sometimes the things will come wrapped in brown paper so you can make more. They'll just be a little piece in your uh, kit. And if you wanted to make a really long strand of leaves, you could always get a piece of string and hang them up that way. When you take the paper, it's going to be about four inches wide. If you fold it in half and then unfold it and then accordion fold it, so you'll put one fold toward that center crease and then fold the other way and, it, and do it again. So it makes it go, you fold it one way, then the other, then the other. It doesn't really matter. This is just kind of making the, the vine that your leaves are going to be on. So you just want it to be sort of folded. It's going to be about an inch wide when you're finished. Then you will take this paper and just twist it. Twist as you're going along and then start twisting it around your finger a little bit. And that's what's going to give it this sort of vine effect. So easy peasy, twist and curl go around your finger until you finish going all the way to the end. And then when you're making your leaves, there's a smaller one, middle size one, and one that's a little bit bigger. If you would like, you can fold the leaves in half that you've cut out. 
Uh, it's not going to be exactly in half because this isn't a symmetrical leaf, but you can fold it in half and it'll give it a little more texture, make it look like there's a vine or the vein in the leaf. And then you take this, the part that looks like a stem and you'll just fold it over around the paper and tape it onto the back. Again, easy peasy so you can decide which leaves you want to go where. Just tape them so they feel secure and then you have a fall decoration. In your kit will also be some plain cardstock and that's and a yellow plate that you can use as your paint palette and a little bit of paint so you can make your own apple prints. So you will need an apple because you can't put an apple in because I don't know if you can see the apple, you know, these stamps don't last forever. So this is probably a use it once and then be done. And again, since there's paint, you want to make sure that you um, don't get any paint on yourself or you put some papers down so you don't get any paint on your work area. An adult will need to cut the apple. Now, if you cut the apple down the center like this, you're just going to get two apple, you know, two halves of the apple that will just make apple shapes. But if you want to make these kind of star flower shapes, then you cut the apple this way. And if you actually have one of those apple cores that you stick down over the top and it takes the, the core right out, that would work really well because what you actually want is the core. Now, when I did mine, I don't have one of those fancy apple cores, so I just cut the edges off and ate them and then just kept the core in the center. And once you've got the core, you cut that in the center too. So if you're cutting the apple horizontally, that's when you'll get to make this little flower. You take the seeds out because that's where the seeds were. Take the seeds out, put a little bit of paint on your plate, and you really don't need, it works much better if you just have a thin layer of paint, I found, on your apple stamper. You'll press that down into the paint and then put it on the cardstock. You can use this cardstock. There's a couple of pieces so you can experiment. If you wanted to make a card, you could fold it in half and use it that way and write a note inside for somebody, or you can just make sort of abstract art, or you can see if you can make it into something. So this was um, apple that when it was cut vertically, so it just was apple shaped, but I thought, well, you know, kind of look like a boat and the stamped other stamp piece could be the sail. Thought this one could be a flower. Uh, that's my butterfly <laughs> with apple, apple stamped wings. So you can experiment and see what you would like to make and do your own kind of art. And then, you know, then you probably have to throw your stamper away, it did its job, but you can always do it again with another apple. Friends, I hope you will have fun making this art. I hope you will have fun getting outside and enjoying fall. Thank you very, very much for watching and come back in October and we'll do it all again. But thank you as always to our friends at WQED Education and Clearview Federal Credit Union who make it possible for the library to bring these programs for you. So thanks for watching friends and we'll see you later. Come down to the library and get your kits if you'd like. All right, thank you very much friends. Bye-bye.